spent time with, with Kyle in Houston. If he doesn't get voted in as a starter today, he'll almost certainly make it next week as a reserve. To, to see him now, uh, likely a two-time back-to-back All-Star. Um, how how cool is that for, for you to watch, having played with him as a, as a young player? It's very cool. It's very cool. I'm very proud of him. I think he, cre- he built his career in a very... Very amazing way, you know. He fought a lot. He came in Houston as a backup, uh, earned the, uh, the starting the starting job, did great there. Had some up and downs after, but then you know, exploded like an all-star he is now, and he's been doing great. It's been fun to watch him evolve throughout his career. It's been fun to play with him. Hopefully, I get to play with him a, a few more years. Uh, I'm very happy for him. Obviously, he's grown quite a bit as a player since your time in Houston together, but how has he changed as a person? I think he grew too. We all did. You know, that happened four or five years ago, and we happened to be in the mid 20s, some of, the, some of us in the early 30s. Uh, you know, five years is a lot of years, so you grow. It's, there's just no way around it. You're going to mature, you're going to get better as a person, so you want to understand the game better. You're going to understand the NBA life better. You you know, he was single. Now he's he's got a family. He got babies. So that, all those things make you grow. And you can see that grow on him. But you can see that grow on pretty much everybody. You know, most of the people, just, it's just natural life. You, you just mature and grow. And he's doing a great job at that. I think he became a, he became a great leader. He became a great player. He was always a positive per, uh, personality on the team. But now... Not only he's a positive personality, but he's also an all-star and he's also a leader of the team. Could you see all that in him? Could you see the all-star in him even back I, then? I think he did more than I thought he was going to be. You know, a little bit. But that, I think everybody knew he was going to be a good player. There was no question about he was going to be a good player. He was going to play a lot of years in the NBA. Uh, I just think uh, he took it a step farther. Um, really great players. Does it matter to them about starting the all-star game? Do they... About yeah, I'm sure it's, it's a good thing to do, you know, starting the All-Star. I'm, I'm just guessing I, I've never played in the All-Star, but I'm sure it's a good thing, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a cool thing. How much will that uh, impact your normal thought process or normal preparation or your mood or all those things? You know, uh, there's multiple responses to that it's probably one response per person you know everybody's different everybody has uh, a different approach and sometimes you know a guy really really committed to be an all-star really wanted to be an all-star it was his goal he was working so hard for it so it becomes really important some of the guys already did it not so important you know it's just it's, it's pretty much up to personalities Luis Duane talked a lot about the fact that the defense has slipped over the last few games, but you guys have been able to win. How do you guys as players come together to kind of rectify that problem? Well, bottom line is if, you don't, if we don't fix those, those things, we're going to start losing. We know that uh, if we are smart enough as a team to react to a problem we have while we're winning, that's a very good thing because, you know, a lot of teams, they're winning, so winning covers everything, but the problem continue to grow it's underneath and it became so big that by the point you start losing this just that much harder to fix so good teams fix the problems while they're winning so they continue to win and they never really let the problem grow to a point that is uncontrollable so this is a good challenge for us the team that is winning the team that's doing really well in the standings on the record a team that uh, has a six game win streak but it's facing some issues. How are we going to react? What kind of team are we going to be? Those are things we're going to discover this week, and it's a good thing to, to have. It's a good test for us, and it's going to prepare us for what's coming. When you when you play in in a regular season, you may have a stretch that you play 16 that are below 500, but you don't get 16 below 500 on the playoffs. You know, you don't even get one. All of them is going to be very good. Most of them are going to be about 600, about 700. You're going to play them seven times straight. You're going to play on their, on their home court. So when you play those teams, they punish you for your mistakes, and you got to fix them. The regular season sometimes lets you get away with it, but uh, we need to fix them because we we have to bigger standards. We have to different things. We, we don't care about the regular season. We do care about the regular season, but it's not the final goal.